Hello, welcome to another video from Avenue X looking at Chinese drama land in the past week. As this video goes out on Saturday, it will be officially the first day back to work for most Chinese people. Therefore, the week passed. Really, there isn't much going on in drama land. Not that dramas are not being made, but people are not reporting about the progress of things. Everybody is on holiday. We still have a couple of things, so let's run through them quickly and we will probably end up with one of the shortest weekly videos I've ever made. Number one, on October the 3rd, a drama went live on Mango Television, also Hunan Satellite TV, called Tian Mi De Ni, English title My Precious. It is a 40 episodes metropolis setting contemporary romantic drama led by Wang Herun and Huang Zitao. I haven't had time to check out this drama as I have at least five more dramas I haven't even managed to click open that I need to. Unless this drama is incredibly unusual, uh, there's a very low likelihood of me ever being able to actually get to check it out. Then we have two Chinese dramas that have wrapped during this week, both we've talked about previously when they started shooting. The first one is a pair drama led by Li Tong and Zeng Shunxi, also including other familiar faces such as Dong Wei, Tian Jia Rui, Dai Lu Wa, and that is the adapted from a manga IP period fantasy drama Yun Xiu Xing, The Legend of the Rosy Clouds. It is that drama that got a bit noticed because of finally the female lead character gets complicated hairstyle down <laughs> instead of just the lazy comb it up thing that we've had in period drama land for too long. The other one that has wrapped is a contemporary drama that I believe not so long ago started shooting and that is the mango television drama Reblooming Blue. Ling Yi Zhong Lan, collaboration between Song Tian and Zhou Yuming, talking about two people starting their business in their hometown that is famous for making China. Officially, that's a wrap, and they've released a first set of character posters. Because of the specific topic and also these two actors, I would definitely keep an eye on the progress of this drama. Hope we can see it sooner than later. I mean, at least from the poster, although it definitely gets a lot of photoshopping, both actors look really good. And again, we have another actor, Zhou Yuming, who just never ages. Meteor Garden, that was like, what, early 2000s? It's been over two decades, and this guy hardly aged at all. Some people just get the genes, hey? And then moving on to the next part of this video, talking about a couple of dramas that have either announced they are green light and about to get made or already started shooting. First, there is a pair drama that has started shooting. It is an Ai Qi Yi drama called Ye Bu Shou, not having an official English title yet, but the word Ye Bu Shou is a particular type of special agent of Ming Dynasty. Think about it as the upgraded version of the embroidered uniform guards. You've actually heard about this word if you watch this year's Ai Qi period drama Shan He Zhi Ying. They've mentioned this particular type of Ming Dynasty special agents in that drama. This is a story about these characters, and there's definitely Wu Xia involved, mystery cases, some dark element. And the interesting thing about this project is, first, it is directed by Cao Dun, the director who did Tribes and Empires and also Longest Day in Chang'an. Supposedly, the team that's making this drama are all from Chang'an Sha Shichen. So it's that crew coming back together, making another quite epic period drama. With that name attached and that crew, you know that it's gonna look fantastic. But also coming with that name and that crew would be the problem. They can't tell a good story narratively speaking, has never really succeeded at writing an exciting story on paper and then put it into visual form. It's my opinion. This director is a master of cinematography, but he does not know how to tell a good story. It is going to be led by Jing Boran, Ming Dao, Zhang Yifan. Jing Boran, you know who he is. He's been around for a while. He hasn't had the best luck in drama land in recent couple of years, whether it's in contemporary or period dramas. They're all Mm, doing very meh. Ming Dao. <laughs> Idol drama fans from two decades ago, you all know who he is. He also hasn't had a very successful drama for a long time. Then Zhang Yifan is a very young actress. You probably know her if you watch Idol selection show from those things <laughs> in the past. It would be interesting to see her acting because realistically speaking, I've never really seen her in any proper acting. She's mostly known as a dancer. So let's see how this drama is going to turn out. It's definitely interesting enough just with the people who are involved and the type of drama it is. It has potential, but it also has a lot of potential landmines. 
then we have a much more normal <laughs> project that has started shooting that. Before you even watch it, you kind of already expect what type of drama it is. It is a yoku drama, contemporary romantic drama called Shi Xiao. English title, Smile Code. And it is led by Lin Yi and Shen Yue. It is a romantic story between a amateur stand-up comedian played by Shen Yue and her audience. A good-looking, tall, mysterious, cold, and having actually problem to relate to other people guy played by Lin Yi. It definitely sounds like a much more familiar recipe for drama and easier to anticipate the result drama. Then we have another drama that has announced and they are already on the move. And just by putting out all the details about this project, it has already started a very uh, heated discussion on the internet. This would be a yoku drama called Zhu Lian Yu Mu. The English title would be even more explicit about what this drama is, as it is called The Legend of Jewelry. You know that it's talking about jewelry, so commerce, business, period time setting, and it's gonna be led by Liu Yunying and Zhao Lu Si. Second collaboration. Anybody still fanning that couple from the long ballad? Well, you're gonna get another one in pair drama. This time, they are the leads. Talking about how much work Liu Yunying gets these days, he continuously jumps into new projects without gap. I mean, it's impressive. And he seems to have a really good relationship with Yu Ku. The other thing that got debated a lot online as soon as this project was announced <laughs> was that the director is Xie Zhe, the director who did Jun Jiu Ling and Chun Gui Meng Li Ren, these two dramas, with a weird camera work that nobody understands where it comes from and it doesn't fit into the tradition of Chinese dramas and it just plainly looks weird. If you remember the uh, stir fry scene from Chun Gui Meng Li Ren or Jin Han jumping from the second floor down in Jun Jiu Ling, those two sequences have become the laughing stock of Chinese period drama land and have been made into so many memes and stuff. Let's just pray uh, for this project, he would uh, tune it down. Otherwise, these two actors are gonna get some uh, career defining memes and GIF made. <laughs> next year. For most of their fans, they're not looking forward to it, for sure. That should conclude everything. Also, I'm editing through all the footage I've taken in Hengdian, and there's a lot. So you're gonna get a lot of vlogs on my channel. I probably will need to run them until November just because there's that much stuff and I do want to put it on my main channel because for the future references it will be an interesting thing to be there but if you happen to be somebody who's totally not interested in vlog, well probably after mid-November it's all gonna go back to talking about dramas exclusively. Apart from the ones I've already put out on my channel, there are a couple more that include some quite interesting stuff. So uh, overall, I think it's still worth doing for my channel. Hope you're having a good time watching them. Thank you for watching my video. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.